Can you just describe the disappointment in this room right now? Yeah, it's um, it's it's it's, it's a failure. You know, um, <clears throat> in spring training we talked about winning the division and you know putting ourselves in a good spot in the postseason. You know, to win a World Series and um, we, we came up short. You know, and so it's you know, no matter no matter how many games we won the regular season or you know what else we did. You know, it's the season's a failure. How hard is it to say goodbye to your teammates? I, I saw a lot of emotion from you here just a few minutes ago. Yeah, it's tough. You know, I just think about all the, the whole season in a whole. You know, trip to London, you know, guys getting injured, guys coming back. Uh, just the ups and downs of the season. And that's what I think about, you know. And then I just think about missed opportunities and, and you know, some guys I might not play with again. You know, I, I know CC's retiring after this year. You know, the last game I ever get to play with him, you know. So I just think about things like that. And, um, yeah, just reminiscing on that. Aaron, how would you describe just the, the roller coaster of emotions there from DJ's home run to then how it ended with Altuve? Yeah, it's tough to describe. You know, once DJ hit that two-run homer, you know, battling a great at-bat by him, you know, battling off tough pitchers on, you know, one of the best closures in the game. And that was, that was impressive. That's why he's an MVP. You know, he comes up big in situations like that. And, and then, you know, Altuve, man, that's just what he does. You know, he comes up big for them, you know, all year, you know, all postseason. And, um, yeah, it's, I can't really describe it, you know. How frustrating is it to have so many opportunities in this series and just not being able to, to finish those ball games? Yeah, it's the biggest thing I look back on, you know, just I think we left, you know, eight or nine guys, you know, in this game, you know, on base. Um, you know, even throughout the whole series, you know, left a lot of guys on base and had a lot of missed opportunities and, you know, and Houston, they capitalized on there. You know, when they got guys on base, they capitalized either a big homer or a big hit and, you know, that was the difference of the series. So, you know, our pitching staff did great too. And our pitching staff, you know, held it, you know, this offense down to three or whatever runs it was for so long. And, um, you know, we just weren't able to capitalize it on offense, even me especially, you know, all, se all series long. You know, I'd, I think I came up with a guardy or somebody on first base and just couldn't, just got to keep the line moving. Say that one more time. Play better ball, you know, all around. You know, defensively, offensively, we just a lot of miscues on defensively. And when you give a team like this extra outs, man, they're gonna they're gonna produce some runs out of that. And then even like I said, like I've been saying all series, you know, when you get guys on base, you know, we got to score them. You know, we got to move guys over. And um, it's just collectively, that's you know, some of the things off the top of my head I can think of. When a game ends like this, and a series ends like this, do you find yourself still kind of in disbelief of how it ended? And Guardy was saying some guys, you know, you never get over a play like that the way it ended. Yeah, it's it's tough. You know, like you said, it was a roller coaster of emotions. You know, going from DJ tying it up there in the ninth, and then you know Altuve, you know, walking it off there. Um, it's I've been thinking about this for a while. You know, just like I said before, you know. The past loss, you know, to you know Boston last year and the year before to Houston, and be thinking about that all off season, you know, every single day. And that's what's going to fuel me to, you know, try to do whatever I can to, you know, put our team in a better position to win. You know, this is you know, being a leader of this team. You know, I got to step up. You know, I got to do something, and I'll be thinking about that. How proud are you of this ball club? Yeah, each and every every single one of these guys. Man, I talked to him after the game. Just said, you know, it's. This team, you know, has never been defined by, you know, wins or losses. It's just been defined by how we, you know, how we get up, you know, when we get hit. And um, each and every one of these guys, man, contributed, you know, up and down the lineup, up and down the roster. Man, I can even guys that aren't here, you know, today, you know, guys that contributed to this team and put us in this great position, you know. So that's the thing, man. These guys can't hang their head, man. They, they gave it all, all all they had. You know, I think of CC, you know, he pitched so he couldn't even until his arm blew up. Man, it's, I think about a lot of guys that, they just left it all on the field, and um, nothing to hang your head about. Aaron, with that said, is it difficult to use the word failure? Is there some gray area there, given 30 guys on the injured list? And get enough, like you said, to describe it to the season as a, as a failure? No, nah, it still is. You know, when it comes down to it, you know, it's, it's black or white. You know, it's either you... You know, did your job and you know got where you wanted, or or you didn't. You know, we weren't able to do that. You know, no matter what. You know, and I really don't care. We really never cared about you know how many guys got hurt. You know, because 
we knew we'd always get the job done, and you know, this time we didn't get the job done when I counted. You mentioned CC not coming back. Uh, or you just said he's not sure what his future is here. He had a great year this year. Do you, you hope he's back? Oh, always, man. He, he had one of his best years, I think, you know, offensively and even defensively, man, being able to move around left field, center field, man, wherever he needed him, hit leadoff, hit third, hit fourth for us, and how many ever homers he hit. Man, it was a special year for him, man. He's still got a lot left in the tank, and, and I hope he comes back for sure. Does it feel like it's a really narrow gap between you guys and them? I mean, we're a great team, they're a great team. It doesn't seem like there's much separation there. Do you see it that way as well or no? Yeah, like I said, you know, like all, 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 all series long, you know, we had a lot of opportunities with guys on base, you know, and if we, you know, can capitalize and get a couple of timely hits, you know, this series might be different. You know, we might not even be playing in game six. Um, but, yeah, it's... it's that's what we were expecting going into this. It was going to be a tight, you know, a tight series, you know, back and forth, you know, going down to game six, seven, and um, yeah, they pulled away. Is this thing of this year the same as 17, different, both times uh, end here with a loss? Uh, this team a better team? Say that one more time. Is this, is this team a better team? Is the sting of losing to the Astros again? bigger than it was two years ago or about yeah, the same? It's, it's, it's all the same. You know, a loss is a loss, man. I, I can't really, I don't know how to say it any different now. Each, each year we come up short, it's, it's all the same in my book.